Ah, yes, government issued meat. Welcome to Homestead Tessie's Coming Home Christmas Edition. Today, we're going to take that government meat and try to make it into something that's quite a feast. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel. Many of us are looking in our pantries and looking deep into the cupboards to find food because we're not spending money on so much food. You know, the cost of food is really up, really high. And while I'm not going into all of that, as I've done many videos on that, we are now all searching, most of us anyhow, are searching for ways that we can use food that we aren't relying on the grocery store so much and using food that we may have bought a long time ago. Today is about government issued meat. And I did a video on this about maybe eight months ago. And a lot of people had questions, a lot of people understood, and a lot of people never heard of government issued meat. So we're gonna talk deeper into that. This is government issued meat. It comes in a can, it's a product of the USA, and it's less desirable. And you'll see when I open it up. Now it's dusty. So I had it in my pantry. Now I got this for free about two years ago. And now we're starting to use up this food because, well, it's too expensive to buy it. One thing you want to always do is if you buy tin cans, make sure you wash the tops of them before you open them up. This looks like dog food. It almost smells like dog food, but it's good food. There's just some tricks and things you can do to make it taste better. It's canned beef and there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not desirable looking. I got this from a gentleman who ran a food bank. Now, he got a lot of these and he gave me some of them. But, you can buy these at discount grocery stores. I these at Walmart. I was told that Walmart sells them. I don't know anything about that. But these were issued in food pantries all across the United States. They were in food boxes when they were handing out food boxes. Um, it's just self-explanatory. It is government meat. Now, people remember back years ago, they would issue to the senior citizens, and maybe they still do, uh, government cheese and government meat and a few things of government type um, products. This comes in chicken and it comes in pork. Yes, I do have the pork one, and I am going to get that out to you as soon as I possibly can, but today I am making spaghetti. Necessarily heat it up and eat it by the spoonfuls, but they are amazing and chili and spaghetti and you won't even know the difference. You won't even know that it's not fresh ground beef when you do the simple things that I say. Now, I live in the North and in the North, we generally do not eat a lot of tallow and fats. In other words, we will drain our meat. In the South, people like to cook with bacon grease. People like to cook with the fat. But if you don't want these, this kind of taste that tastes like dog food, what you're gonna have to do is you're going to have to rinse it. I'm gonna open this can up and a lot of people are gonna go, ooh, and a lot of people are gonna say, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just depending on your taste, but in the day and age that we're living in, you have to learn to eat the food that you have. And this is what we got. All right, so we're gonna open up the can. Now it was $1.49, that's how much it cost at the discount grocery store, but this was given to me. That, my friends, is what it looks like. Do you want to eat it? What we're going to do is we are going to take the meat out. It is canned in broth. What you're seeing is the broth, but we're not going to use the broth. We are not going to use all the fat. We're going to skim off some of that fat. That's way too much grease. Now, home canned meat looks about the same. It has the same smell. It has a very good smell, but it's a, a very different, unique smell. It's hard to explain. Now, if you want, I have a bucket here where I am putting all the fat for the chickens. All right, here's some more fat. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to rinse it. 
and we're going to chop it up really fine. I'm going to go ahead and rinse it and then we're going to put it in a crock pot. All right, now we're going to add the meat into it. Believe it or not, it's going to taste amazing and you won't even know that it was canned ground beef. There is a little bit of fat in here, which will be fine. Take this one out. I don't like that. Take a little of that out. All right. There you go. Now, before you turn up your nose to it, you have to understand that it is amazing. And it tastes just like ground beef. It is ground beef. It's 100% USDA in the United States. So this isn't like canned in some other country. And it is ground beef, but when you can ground beef, it's going to taste and look different than fresh ground beef. That's no matter if you can it by your home or you can it, it's canned at the store. And so those of you who do go to the food pantries, those of you who do go to food banks and you get this, use it. There is nothing wrong with it. If you add it in tomato sauce and spaghetti sauce and all those kind of things, sloppy joes, it's amazing. All right, I hope you enjoyed this little video. I'll show you the spaghetti, what it looks like when we're done. And I just wanted to emphasize again, if you're afraid of these kind of meats and things that you get at your food pantry or at the food bank, don't be afraid. Give it a try, it's things that you can do to make it taste a whole lot better. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. What I just do is I put a little bit of butter. The butter is really hard, so I don't worry about it. I don't worry about spreading it. I just put it on like this and then add my own garlic seasoning to it. We'll add some Parmesan cheese, shredded cheese, and then we have amazing garlic bread. Using little bits of food that normally, you know, people wouldn't want to eat. So just like that, we have a meal with the government issued meat, with some homemade spaghetti sauce, with some noodles, and then some garlic bread. And for me, this meal cost me zero. Now that's simply because I do a lot of work with discarded food and things like that. Even the cheese I didn't have to pay for because the cheese was way past expiration date, but it was still fine and they were handing them out at the food truck where I do a lot of work. So, and the tomato sauce was tomatoes that I grew. So, and the government issued meat. If you get the government issued meat, I know a lot of people talked about it in the months past and they said they didn't keep it. They just got rid of it. Really keep it and use it. You'll be really surprised how good your meals will be. Take care everyone and we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye everybody. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, it always seems like there's so much that needs to be done. But you know what? At the end of the day, somehow it gets done. Are you like me? Are you looking into those cupboards and trying to find all that food that was stored away? You know, I am so glad that I have so much food stored away. But this year, the goal in my life is to take everything that I have and use it to the best of my ability. So get ready, my friends. It's going to be a lot of videos of looking deep into those cupboards and finding unusual food and seeing if we can make it into a feast. 
Just like the title says, government meat turned into a feast. Your homework assignment today is look in your cupboards and find that one canned item that you just never knew how you were going to use. And you make your own feast at home.